so our topic is discovery of dna 1869 friedrich meiser discovered nuclein he found a substance inside a nucleus and basically isolated it and termed it nuclein and in 1878 albrecht kossel isolated non protein part of nuclein and what he discovered was there was a nucleus nucleic acid and five bases adenine thymine guanine cytosine and uracil so it's pretty amazing that in 1927 a russian scientist nikolai konstantinovich kolsov said something which is very interesting inherited traits would be inherited via a giant hereditary molecule which would be made up of two mirror strands that would replicate in a semi conservative fashion using each strand as a template don't forget that this is before we know the structure of dna and he is basically hinting that aapka hereditary molecule kya hoga till that time they only knew that there are four bases and there is nucleic acid but we have no clue whether it's a hereditary molecule or not so it was let's say a very interesting fortune telling and 1928 frederick griffith basically established that there is some sort of transformation which happens in bacteria so basically at that time pneumonia was very common and there were two strains of pneumonia one was a rough strain and other was a smooth strain so rough strain was non virulent while smooth strain is virulent and because of it has basically a glucose shell on it or basically let's say carbohydrate shell on it basically which let makes it virulent because it escapes your immune system so in first image what you see is that when you inject mice with a rough non virulent strain it doesn't die it lives but when you inject a smooth strain mouse dies basically aapne establish kar diya ki iske andar se jo strain disease cause karta hai wo kaun sa hai but what you when you heat kill a smooth strain mouse lives so basically ek aur cheez sabit kar di ki agar aap न्यूमोनोकोकस को अगर आप हीट किल करें तो इट कैन नॉट कॉज डिजीज बट नाउ दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बट इफ यू मिक्स अ रफ स्ट्रेन एंड हीट किल अ स्मूथ स्ट्रेन माउस डाइज यानी कि जब आप रफ स्ट्रेन डाल रहे हैं केला तब भी माउस नहीं मर रहा जब आप हीट किल्ड स्ट्रेन डाल रहे हैं तब भी माउस नहीं मर रहा तो क्या वजह है कि जब आप जिन दोनों स्ट्रेन से माउस नहीं मर रहा उनको मिक्स करके डाल रहे हैं तो वो मरने लग जाता है सो अल्टीमेटली हाइपोथेसिस वॉज कि कोई चीज ट्रांसफर हो गई है हीट किल्ड स्मूथ स्ट्रेन से रफ स्ट्रेन को जो अल्टीमेटली जिसने रफ स्ट्रेन को भी विरुलेंट कर दिया है और वो चीज नाउ वी नो क्या थी डीएनए जो अल्टीमेटली ट्रांसफॉर्म हो जाता है रफ स्ट्रेन को so in 1944 every mcloyd and mccarty basically isolated dna on your screens you can see a white glass and basically they developed a protocol using phenol to precipitate dna so in its bottom you can see a white precipitate and that is dna now but the final conclusive evidence came from an experiment done by Hershey and Chase on your screens you can see a bacteriophage so bacteriophage has an outer protein shell and the core is made up of dna and bacteriophage infects bacteria and survives inside it so isko reproduction ke liye bacteria chahiye so the evidence would be ke agar ye virus kaun si cheez bahar chhodta hai aur kaun si cheez virus bacteria ke andar jati hai so that it can reproduce let's see what they did so what they did was they radio labeled outer coat of protein sulfur in it basically because cysteine contains sulfur and they also radio labeled dna which was inside so what you see in these image which is very clear what they found out was 
that all sulfur containing shell was stayed outside a bacterium while DNA went inside. In this way, they were able to conclusively prove that basically the thing, the material which goes inside a bacterium is, uh, is DNA. So, what you are watching on the screen is known as photo 51. Basically, it's an X-ray crystallograph of type B DNA. And one of the students of Rosalind Franklin basically took that picture, but nobody knew how to explain it. And there was a debate between Morris Wilkins, who was student of Rosalind Franklin, whether it's a helical structure or some other type of structure. So Morris Wilkins was of the idea that it's a helical structure. He showed this image to Watson and Crick from University of Cambridge. And they proposed that it's a, it's a ladder, it's a twisted ladder-like structure where, where sugar phosphate backbone is on the outside and different bases are paired with each other. So they published their findings in, in the most reputed journal at the time and which still is Nature. And, and there is a funny incident with it. Okay, this is the only non-peer-reviewed article. When the editor of the journal saw their findings, he was so sure that if he would send it for peer review, uh, the information would be leaked. So what he did was that he just basically published without peer reviewing it. And, um, and that's how basically DNA bases are uh, are paired with each other so adenine and thymine have two hydrogen bonds between them and guanine and cytosine have three hydrogen bonds between them so yahan se basically once dna structure was solved ek nayi era ka aagaz hota hai ki can we edit the dna and that's we'll see thank you